Yes, you hear it, you hear it here for me. You know, and, uh, it's a new vibes uh, on this channel. Uh, thank you guys for coming around and uh, being a part. You know, I'm having some trouble with this. Uh, definitely uh, today again, you know, it's it's been hectic. You know, I just came back in, you know, and uh, again, I want to apologize to you guys for yesterday. You know, I know, you know, when you're looking forward for something and you don't get it, sometimes it's, it's as if you're... You're not sure, you know, and uh, uh, actually it's not my intention to do that to you guys, you know. It's just, just some conditions, you know, some situations beyond my control, you know. I, You guys know, on the yes, day before yesterday, I bought my starter. You can't, you, you, you can't imagine that after I have bought my starter, it ended up it's not the starter. You know, it's the battery. Um, This car has three batteries i was i was stunned when i heard that today that it had i thought probably it had two batteries now i realized that it had three batteries you know there's one the main battery and there's one the auxiliary battery that, that is a third battery i don't ask me for what i don't know it's just that i realized that this car has three batteries, you know, and uh, I went to buy those three batteries. One of the battery is like $399, $399. The other one is like $149 and the third battery is $99. So you're talking about almost like 500 to 500 and something dollars. Oh, that's crazy. That's that's crazy, you know. And but again, as I said, I want to apologize for yesterday. It was difficult uh, for me, you know, to be walking, to be moving elter skelter, and uh, trying to make sure I fix this car, you know. And up to now, I'm not able to fix it. I'm still having some issues with it. Uh, but. So be it, you know, and uh, we, we have to live with it. We have to live with stress. We have to live with troubles. We have to live with all of these things that just compound and put tension on us. And we have to grab, grapple with what is going on back home in Sierra Leone. And uh, we're grappling with so many things, you know. So the human mind has so many things that it's dealing with, you know. And so uh, uh, it's it's not easy. But I want to thank you guys for being here. I know we're coming, we're trickling in the in, one after the other, one after the other. So we we're, we're gonna. We're gonna keep uh, um, anticipating until all of you guys are on this channel because uh, I think, I don't know, but whatever is going on back home, <laughs> it's, it, it's getting us worked up, you know, and it's getting everybody worked up except a few people that are, that, that are actually you know, creating this problem, they don't have a problem. They don't. They don't get worked up. No, they want the situation to be like this. You know, they want us to be like this. They want us to grapple. They want us to fight. They want us to to be like this. You know, so don't 
don't even attempt to defend. Don't even attempt to defend them or don't even attempt to defend yourself. Because they want this issue from day one. Since they took power, they wanted what is going on in Sierra Leone today. I don't fucking care what you say. I don't fucking care. Because the moment you begin to say the truth, you know what they tell you? Oh, uh, you are inciting for me. I don't fucking care what you say. Say whatever you want to say. I'm going to say what is right and I know what is appropriate. You know, I was talking to somebody the day before yesterday. You know, I was telling her, look, all of us need to come together. Especially for us. Those of us who have the voice now are in the diaspora. The people back in Sierra Leone don't have the voice anymore. They don't have the voice out there in Sierra Leone. They don't. They can't speak. Because they've been haunted. They've been haunted right now as I speak. They've been killed right now as I speak. The last time I gave you some instances where, where these people are taking those, 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 those cops. And now you're beginning to get the truth. I, I for one, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, going to keep silent. Trust me. Tell me I am inciting. I am, I told you. I am going to own it. Tell me I'm inside. I'm going to own it. I'm not, I'm not going to shy away from that. Tell me. Oh, you are one of the inside. I'm not going to be afraid. You know, those who are afraid, and that's why day before yesterday I said, this fight, this fight is for the brave-hearted. This fight is not for the weak-hearted. They're not. It's not for the weak. This fight we're talking is for the brave-hearted. You cannot fight this fight and, and keep, 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 keep going back and say, oh, because they're saying these things, oh, they said, oh, whenever we talk, they said that we are inciting, we in the diaspora are inciting. We are the only voice in that country. We are the only voice. I don't care, let them talk. I want, I want them to go and galvanize themselves, the entire people. The entire workforce of Sierra Leone, the entire uh, uh, bar association, the entire uh, so, uh, social, uh, what, what I'm talking about, social media, uh, the entire civil society, the entire, of course, the most useless, the most useless organization now in Sierra Leone is the Interreligious Council. The Interreligious Council is the most useless organization in that country. I can give, probably give credit to, to other organizations, but the inter, Interreligious Council is the most useless organization in that country. You know, they are the toothless bulldogs. They cannot speak. They are a toothless bulldog. They are the most useless organization, the interreligious council in that country. And I will always say, people, I have been a pastor for over 19 years. Yes. If I include my studies and everything, it's over 19 years I've been a pastor. The Interreligious Council is the most useless, useless organization in that country. I'm not talking about even the, 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 the Muslim organizations and the parachurch organization, the church organizations and everything in that country. They are useless. I can guarantee you that. They are useless in that country. You know what they are, they are good at? I will tell you as we go by. I will tell you what they are good at. You know, it, 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 is, it is sad. I can say this today to you guys. I would emphasize that today. And there are so many things I'm going to emphasize today. And that is why, that is why I'm here in the United States. I don't go to church. I'm not saying I don't believe in God. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying I I I I I just I just abhorred Islam and Christianity. I abhorred them. They are, they are the problem in Sierra Leone. They are the problem in Africa. Religion is our problem. You 
serious things are going on and uh, you still have people, people, their intention is about money. You wait until you see, you hear how much money they've given these organizations. These people thrive when there is confusion in Sierra Leone. They thrive when there is confusion. Do you think, do you think all of them going there now, you, you, do you think they are going there to make this thing settled, to have a settlement of this issue? That is not what they are going, and that's what, listen, let people call me incitement. I'm going to own it. That's why I'm saving all of my videos. I'm not destroying them. I will never destroy one single video. Because you know why? I'm keeping them for posterity. I'm saving this document for posterity's sake. You call this, this organization there in Sierra Leone as if they are, they, they are there for the people? I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. I might be a prophet of doom. I, I would accept that. I might be a prophet of doom. If I am a multi-billionaire, there is nothing that, that it will not even it will not be even strike me to go and do business in Sierra Leone. It will not even strike me to put up multi-purpose building to make money in Sierra Leone because at the end of the day you're going to lose that building. None of these idiots are serious. They're all bastards. I'm not even going to apologize for that. They're all bastards. They don't care about you. They don't care about me. From throughout this week, listen to all of them. Did they care about those who have been killed? No, they are more concerned about the policemen who died. They don't care about none of you guys. And you are the same guys going about fighting for them. I'm talking for both APC and SLPP. Because at the end of the day, it will come a time when APC will rule. And it will be you, SLPP, on the opposing side. Your people will never fight for you. It's the same thing as these idiots are doing. I don't care. They're all bastards. I'm not... I'm not even going to apologize for that. I don't see any... I don't see any light at the end of the tunnel for Sierra Leone. I don't see. I, 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 I don't know. But I don't see it. I don't see it. It is not there. What I have seen since Monday, what I have seen, even since last week, of all of these groups coming on air, all they concern is about themselves, their own protection, their own safety. They don't care about your safety. You think they care about your safety? You think they care about the, the, the Ceylonians that have died? You think they care about the Ceylonians that are in prison? You think they, they care about the Ceylonians that are being chased right now? They don't care. They don't want to know. They don't care. It pains my heart. When I see people pretending as if they care about the people of Sierra Leone. Pretending as if they care. They don't care. They don't care. All they care is about their pockets and their safety. That's what they care about. Their pockets and their safety. You tell me they care about you. Tell me they care about you. A common, a grassroots Ceylonian. Tell me they care about you. And let's begin, let's begin the conversation now. When you tell me they care about me, then we'll start the conversation. What, what, what are you talking about? Have you seen what, what, what has been going on since last week with all of these groups going to the, to the state house? Have you seen them? Did they protect you? Did they talk on your behalf? In fact, for me, it's an insult to you. What they're doing right now is an insult to you as a Sierra Leonean. I 
And these are the people we are fighting for. These are the people that will come tomorrow and call you. Did you hear? Did you hear that lady? Sally Adams? She said she is the what? The leader of all the women in Sierra Leone. In fact, she is, she is the umbrella for all the women in Sierra Leone. I will see you as a clown, as a woman. If that woman call a meeting, and you as a woman, you go to that kind of meeting. Because this is an, the enemy of women in Sierra Leone. Sally Adams is one of the enemies of women in Sierra Leone. She doesn't care. She cares about herself and her pocket and her purse. Listen to what she was saying. Did you listen? Did you think that is, that is a reconciliation statement? And people are talking about other people inciting. This is, this is, a, this is a leader. Inciting. The president. Inciting other government officials. And, you know, you see this incitement is being carried on, you know, one-sided. It is only the people that is inciting. The government in power is not inciting at all. No, they are not. They are not inciting. They are inciting their own people. Let's go back. I remember, if you go back to one of my feed, I was talking about the German war. The Second World War. There are certain things I mentioned about during the Second World War. You know what I told you? I told you about Joseph Goebbels. Paul Joseph Goebbels. I don't know if you remember who Paul Joseph Goebbels was. I don't know if you remember. But I'll, I'll remind you again about this guy. I'm going to talk to you about Joseph Goebbels again. Because he was one of the ministers during Adolf Hitler's reign in Germany. Goebbels was the what? The minister of propaganda and enlightenment the minister of what propaganda and enlightenment i'm telling you about the song i just played you know if you go back to the to, to the start of this this feed i played a song you know and uh, uh it's a new song that just came out you know after after the death of this these these people on the tenth of August, but I told you about Joseph Gobel. Joseph Gobel was one of the most powerful men during the reign of Hitler, during the Second World War. His plan was to arouse arouse the German people against the Jews, and not only against the Jews; they were even against some of their own people. The physically challenged people. There's people who have mental problems. That we call physically challenged. Or mentally challenged. But other physically challenged people also. And gay people. Goebbels' responsibility was to arouse. To get the people angry. About the Jews about other people that are not beneficial, that are not profitable to the German society. His own plan was to make sure he aroused, he get them angry. And that is what some of these people like Sally Adams and others are doing. You have the Joseph Sano. You have the Alpha Saidu Bangura. These are the guys that would arouse the SLPP Power people to, ang to get angry with other tribes. You think you think they don't have? They they, they they are reading all of these books, the Second World War. They are reading these books. They are reading books from other nations like in South Africa, the apartheid. 
they want to make the Mendes as the most feared, most feared tribe in Sierra Leone. That's what they're doing. And they're doing everything possible to go on that road. Did you look at the room when they called the civil society? Did you look at the, 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 the composition of that room? As a Sierra Leonean, sometimes, sometimes, you know, don't you just discard some of these, you know, uh, 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 discussions, some of these meetings, they're uh, calling. Don't just discard it. Don't just say, oh, it's not my business. I don't care. No, it's your business. Because when I looked at that room, that room where they had all of this civil society movement, 90% of these people are Mendes. 90% of these people are from the Southeast. That tells you a lot. It tells you a lot. All of them are from the Southeast. You think these people are serious? And you have a guy who is, who is really, really, you know, a propaganda machine for the SLPP. He's been put there as a, social, a civil society, you know, activist, Joseph Sano. Have we not seen the man who was called what? Crazy Joe. His name is Crazy Joe. You crazy? Are we see? <laughs> Are we serious? Looking at people like Joseph Sano, you have Alpha Side who seated there, and you think this thing is serious, but you you get to, you you're going to believe me that it will end up like what the TRC report. They are not going to 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 to, to, to have all of this money. They will go to ask for all of this money and that money will come and they will just sit on that money and nothing will happen. Nobody will be brought to book. In fact, those that will be brought to book are the people of Sierra Leone. Those people who are suffering, they are the ones that, that are going to be put to book and not the other. Like Alpha Saidu. Those who are the inciters. Those who are the incited. Joseph Sano. Those who are the inciters. Some of the civil society, Andrew Lavaliz and the others. You know, Abdul Fatoma, these are people who are the inciters. And they are seated there and pretend as if, as if they are so, these are not the solution. These are not, they, are, they cannot be a part of the solution. They are a part of the problem. They should be seated on one side, whilst other people seated on, the people of Siloam seated on the one side. For arbitration, you cannot put these people to arbitrate. Are you going to put these people to be the, uh, 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 to, to adjudicate? My God, my God, where are we heading? These people who have been one-sided all along, listen to their statement yesterday. You got to listen to their statement yesterday, what they said yesterday. Listen to what they said. And these are the same people you're going to put to, to adjudicate the, these issues in Sierra Leone. These people are not qualified. International community need to know this. These people are not qualified to adjudicate the issues of Sierra Leone. Just see, you as international community, look at the composition of that meeting yesterday of all civil society. 90% are from the Southeast. If not more than that. And you're going to take those people to put them, you're going to make the same mistake. You're going to spend your money because it is your money as international community. You are going to be spending your money. You're going to take these people and put them and become a part of those people that will adjudicate, those people that will be the judge. Those that have already taken sides are going to be the judge. We're in for trouble. And that is why I said, I don't see any light. Because this is going for the international community. This is my address. That, and that's why I'm going to be speak. That is why I concentrate on speaking English. Because I want the international community to know this. That these are people that have already taken sides. And you cannot put them to be the judge. Oh no. How, 
can you be a, a part of the problem and you be a, a, a part of you, you also you, you also be the, the, the judge you are a part of the problem then you are coming in as a judge take note international community take note because it will end up like you'll be wasting that money for nothing i can guarantee you that you'll be wasting that money for nothing These people, they're part of, they cannot be a part of this. They, they, they cannot be a part, they cannot be a judge. They cannot be juries. When they're already a part of the problem, they're part of a problem. They've already taken sides. They already had a faction. How can you make them judge or jury? Right? That's my issue. That's my bone of contention right now. You cannot take people like this. 90% of them are Mendes, are from the Southeast. If they are not Mendes, they are from the Southeast. 90% of this civil society movement, they are from the, from the Southeast. And they are a part of this problem. All of what we're having right now, they are a part and parcel of this problem. And you're going to take them to be judge and juries? Ah, no. Hell no. Hell no. It will, be, it will be wasting your precious money. It will be wasting taxpayers' money. Money is like our monies. Yes, money is like our monies. It taxpayers' money. How can, how can somebody who is a part of the problem become the judge and also a part of the jury? To arbitrate, to adjudicate the issue of Sierra Leone. This is this is this is not a. I, I want to talk to the the American embassy. I want to talk to the European Union. I want to talk about uh, to 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 African Union. I'm not even going to include ECOWAS. Because ECOWAS is a failed organization. It's a failed organization, ECOWAS. I'm not even going to include them there. That is why they even have a problem with, with the AU. Because they told him, are you crazy? Did you go there and make that kind of statement to these people who have been hurt already? And you, you also, as an ECOWAS chair, you've already taken sides. And this is what people are saying. It's incitement. They don't want you to speak the truth. So they call you that you are, you are inciting. Come for me if I'm inciting. Yeah, this morning, somebody was, was texting me. You know what these people think? They think people are stupid. Do you think I'm stupid? They used a number and started texting me. I... I told them, look, I'm smarter, I'm smarter than you guys. I, I, we were texting them. I was texting. You think I'm that kind of person? I was started texting and then, uh, then you were asking me where I'm working. What's your business of asking me where I'm working? And I told them, that's an information I don't give out. I don't give those information out to people. Not people like you. I don't know you. How can you ask about where I work? Can you ask me about my job? Can you ask me about what I do? What, what connection? Even if we're close, even if I can, I know you. I'm not going to give information like that. How dumb are you to even think that I'm going to give you that kind of information? I want to reiterate. I want to just tell you that I'm not afraid. I'm that kind of person. I'm not afraid. I can even give you my job. You, you have nothing to do. Nothing. You cannot, you cannot call my job and make me be fired. It's not possible. You know, but that is how low you can be. That is how low you can go. Are you going to call these people? 90% of them are from the Southeast. And I saw them seated there yesterday, seated, and the cameraman was very judicious with, with the camera. And I was trying to cut off some people and everything. And when and Joseph Sanos stood up to, 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 to introduce himself, you know, he's a 
clown. And everybody was laughing. Everybody was laughing. And he felt inconvenience himself to even introduce himself. And he was seated there as a civil society activist. Activist for who? For the government. Because you are not an activist for the Sierra Unions. You are an activist for who? The government. And for you, you know, the international community, are these the kind of people that would be a part of a solution? Oh, yes, they can be a part of the solution, but they can be a part of the problem. There should be a faction that has been, you know, the government side of this problem. You're going to take people like that, bring them on the table, those who have, which respect, and that is why the TRC failed. So now, when I was explaining to you people, now you are beginning to see, so some of you were not born by then. Because some of you were not born, you were wondering what I was talking about. This is the same thing that happened. This is the same thing. Why the TRC failed? Because they have the, the faction in there and they have had this faction, these Southeast people protecting their own people in that faction. In fact, they were majority in that faction. And they protected their own people. They safeguarded their own people. It is just for you as international community coming in. That was exactly what happened for the TRC issue. You know, I am surprised. And my fight is for against these uh, 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 religious bodies. Who call themselves inter-religious council. Don't call yourself inter-religious council. That is an evil society. Call it inter-evil society. Or inter-evil council. Because that's what it is. Inter-evil council. This is that the people who... Let me tell you. For some of you who don't know, do you know how religion thrive? Do you know how religion thrive? Both Islam and Christianity. Do you know how they thrive? They thrive by two ways. I'm going to give you those two ways. But let's, let's talk about them first. Then I'll give you... How religion thrive in Sierra Leone? Two ways. As to how they thrive in that country. And we have created the issue for them to thrive because we gave them the opportunity to influence us so that they can thrive in Sierra Leone. Do you know how religion thrive in that country? Two ways. Listen to this, listen to this, listen to these people. Seated there, making mockery of themselves. Because you're not making mockery of the people of Sierra Leone. Until the people of Sierra Leone know that, you know, religion is a scam in that country. Trust me, Sierra Leone would be the kind of country we continue to be backward. Until you guys know that the religion that we have in Salem for now is a scam. It's only when we realize that religion is a scam, that is when, listen, it doesn't mean I have to go to church. It doesn't mean I have to go to the mosque. I can pray in my house. And this same God can hear me. And that is why I'm telling you, this is the two ways this religion thrive. Two ways. So they will force you to go to church. They will force you to go to the mosque. I can still be in my house and pray. And God can still hear me. I can still be in my house. Allah can still hear me. Who told you I have to go to the mosque? I have to go to church for, 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 for God and Allah to hear me. Who told you that? No. I cannot. Religion is a problem in Sierra Leone. I don't fucking care. Somebody was calling me. The like, hey, don't say that. Hey, this and that. I say, fuck you. Fuck you. Don't fucking tell me anything. 
Religion is a problem in Sierra Leone. Let us forget about religion and take hard work. And let's see what will happen to us. Let us take hard work and forget about religion. Pray in your house. If I don't have time to pray, I, when I come in the evening, coming from my work, I can pray. God can still hear me. This religion are a fucking mess in that country. Religion has not done anything for that damn country. And they are seated there. Nobody could talk. All of them like, like, like mumu. Like dumbs. They cannot talk. All they can do is to praise the president. For killing the people of Sierra Leone. Those who voted for him. For killing them. That is all they can do. All of them. They're just praising the president. And, and some of them are afraid to die. Ibrahim Tommy was saying, Oh, they might come for me at night. What a dumb, what a dumb country. Salonians need to change their perception about these damn people they call civil society movement and these damn people they call religious bodies. We need to begin to know these people that they are scams. They are all looking for money. It's not about money. All what they are there, do you think they care about the people who died? Do you think they care about the people? No. They are looking forward for the money that is coming from the international community. That is what they are looking for. Today, guys, I told you I'm going to, I'm going to call you guys. I have a sister of mine who probably uh, may like to join us. Two of us are going to deal with this issue. I'm telling you, we're going to deal with the issue of uh, 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 Evangelist Samson. I've not, I've not even mentioned that yet. I've not even talked about it. But I think I'm going to invite my sister now to come in and join me. You know? We, 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 we're going to discuss these issues. I'm telling you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to... Listen, religion is a mess in our country. Yes, thank you, my sister. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I was just thank angry. You for I was thing. just angry. I am angry. Yeah, I don't you care. Have Let to. people tell me I am inciting. I am going to own All. it. I will own honestly, it. Honestly. Okay, whoever come in, come says, in. Welcome, welcome, my sister. Welcome. Whoever says you are angry, do not want to accept the problems that are in Sierra Leone. If you have interest of that country, you will definitely be angry at any minute, at any hour over the things that are going on in our country. They're not normal. And people don't want to talk about them. And when you talk about them, that is the only thing they can say to you, you are inciting. Who is more incited than the president's wife? Who says they should give, do mob justice to Sierra Leoneans? Whoever criticized the president? The democratically elected president, who was elected by the people of Sierra Leone, should not be criticized. And whosoever criticizes him is, is a terrorist. Even using the word alone on Sierra Leoneans to say they are terrorists, that is an incisive word. That's what can break war. Because you cannot call your people terrorists because they are not terrorists. They are just exercising their rights. They elected you. But one thing we need people to know in Sierra Leone, that these people that we are electing, they are not above the law. They are not our superiors. They are basically working for us. They're supposed to listen to us, not we to listen to them. They're supposed to listen to what we want because we put them there for a reason, for a purpose. And if they cannot do what we put them there for, then we have the right to say we'll get them out of the power because we give them that power. That is not yeah. inciting. Yeah, that I is think, not inciting. Yeah, I want us to attack the, this issue because I've had a lot of information with regards to Hassan Dumbuya. You understand? We, we've got yes. a lot. I know you also, you've got a lot of, a lot of information with regards to Hassan Dumbuya. The way he was killed, you know, who set him up, and all of these things, because I have been having messages from McKinney and from, from Freetown, from everywhere. And people are telling me, hey, you know, be careful the kind of friends you have these days. 
be careful the kind of friends, even the relatives, be careful the kind of relatives you have these days because some of these oh, yeah. people are, are your, your, your worst enemies. I, I, don't yeah. know, I don't know what you've heard about, about Hassan Dubuya. Well, yeah, I, I also heard the same story that he was set up by a friend of his who actually offered himself to say, you know what, Samson, you are not safe in Freetown. Come down to McKinney. I will secure you. I will make sure you are safe. And it is that same friend who decided to took a picture with him and give that picture to Abu Abu, which they used to go after him. And he was the very man, according to what I heard, called him that, where are you? And, and he said, I'm at home. Say, so, oh, please, come down here, let's relax. Knowing that he has already informed the, 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 the Abu Abu and others, and Abu Abu has already informed the soldiers, they've already surrounded the area. And then he called him. Immediately, the man, the man came, they attacked, start shooting on the man. Sh I had they shot him on the, on the foot, he fell, and they shot him again on the stomach. So it is very pathetic and very unprecedented for the police that's supposed to protect us are hunting us like a dog hunting for an animal for doing nothing, just for exercising your own rights in your own country. And the man that's supposed to protect you, to secure you, is going after you, looking for you, to kill you and they eventually succeeded in killing something but and my also, question here okay. what do they achieved by killing him i don't know but also let, let, let's look at what the, the police the police said i think they they, 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 they they got a statement out i don't know do you, do you know anything about the the statement of the well, police i heard the um the release a press a press release that Hassan, Hassan Dumbuya was killed through a crossfire. The police were raiding, and through a crossfire, Hassan Dumbuya was killed. And who were they crossing this fire? Because the protest has passed. Everything, as, as far as we are concerned, the, the curfew has been lifted. There was no curfew to say Hassan Dumbuya went out and break the law. But there was no curfew. The curfew has been lifted already. So what is the event where Hassan Dumbuya was caught up in a crossfire? Yeah, According because, to the police because report. That's another, that's another issue. Because you know yeah. what? You know, the coffee has been lifted. You understand? Been lifted. Because let's, let's say they might have a little bit of edge if there yes. was coffee. Because if there was coffee, coffee yes. they might probably... But again, let's talk about this again. Let's, I want you to mention about this. I want you to bring some facts about... Because I think there are, there are witnesses. There are witnesses who saw what happened. Yeah, there are witnesses. Because it happens a broad daylight. It's not like, you know, we are in... People, we are not there. But a whole lot of people were there. Even the brother, his brother was in the shop at Station Road. And he was not alone. He was with a group of friends, including those that called, the one that called him was around. But he was singled out and killed. He was the only one that caught up on the crossfire among all. So which means he was targeted for he me, was that's targeted? the million. For yes. me, that's the million dollar question. Yes. How is it that you have this group of people, including to the kill guy? him? And bro, if you go social media, you see some of these SLPP bloggers are saying one down. A lady called what Tata what says, thank God, one down. Many more to go. Yeah, many more to. I saw that. I saw that. I saw yes. that statement. And also, there is a list going around, wherein 
a lot of names and Samson's name was there on that list of wanted, dead or alive. So and, and that's police, another issue. That's yes. another issue. Because so that the was police, the statement of the police. Yes. It is a that disgrace. Was the it was unofficial. For the salon it police. was unofficial, not official. Yes. Yeah, because they said they said it, uh, there, there was a there was uh, there was there was probably a, 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 a statement that uh, wanted dead or alive. Yes, that was a poster. Wanted that was dead a poster. Or alive. But no, and when you look at the list, there is a list going around on social media, which they are sharing all the list of the people they wanted in their custody to surrender. For doing what? Because they protest, they protest for their rights. I want the police to come and say to us that protest is unconstitutional. No one has committed a crime. The police has committed crime of, against humanity. There is nothing that gives them the rights. Even if, let's say, the protestants came out and they start burning tires or they start throwing stones that doesn't warrant any police in any civilized society to use live bullets to quell down tension that is not the right way to do so by all whatever they try to defend themselves they have no rights to use live bullets against protestants against Sierra Leoneans. they have no rights so there is no way they can defend themselves. There is no way they can say, Hassan was caught up in a crossfire. What was going on in McKinney that they're supposed to use light bullets wherein Hassan caught up? What was going on? Was there any, any international invader? Or were, are we in a rebel? rebel? Are, are there any rebels that, are, that has attacked McKinney? Or they need to explain more. That is not just enough. But one thing I say to you, bro, these people, they think everyone is as stupid as they are. They That's think exactly everyone is as ignorant think. as they are. And that was they why think, I was angry this morning. Yes, they think everybody, you know, you look at these fools that claims to be PhD holders and doctors. But I wonder how they managed to get to that level when they strongly believe that whatever they are saying is the right. They are fools and this is what caused their failure because they never listen. They are very stupid people, very uneducated fools that do not know how to talk. They, they do not even know how to talk. You can imagine a PhD holder, David Francis, who studied in England, peace and conflict, exactly. sitting, sitting among dignitaries. You know, sitting are among all ambassadors from all, every country. And this man has the right and the audacity to call Sierra Leoneans, hooligans, thugs, and, 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 and terrorists. You can and talk, I begin them. to question myself. It's going you know, to hurt them. The level, the level of civilization, how this will never civilize. Don't even if you don't want to think of the people, but think of your own integrity. But because of the hate, they have so much hate that they cannot able to control their emotions with any it. longer. Since 2018, yes, since 2018, they, they have came so with much hate. hate. I told people this. They yes, came with hate. that they cannot they control their emotions any longer. So they are using words, even words that are gonna go against them. And this is for the United Nations. If Mandabia is gonna come. For the United Nations, a man who called his people terrorists, which means he is governing a country with that that are that are encouraging terrorists. So he should not come to the United Nations. They should Definitely. not allow him to come to represent Saga Leone. And this is for the international community to get this. The United Nations should stop Mandabio, the presence of Saga Leone, as uh, because this comes from the 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 the, the, the president himself calling his own people terrorists. So which means the president of himself, he is a terrorist. He must not come to represent Saga Leone until they try to get to the bottom of this yeah. 
Now let's let's happened? talk about let's talk about this. I don't know. Did you did you listen? Did you listen to to the civil society yesterday? You know do we have civil society, bro? I'm sorry to ask. Do we have civil society in Sierra Leone That's since 2018? Well, let me explain to you. Let me explain to you because this is another discussion we're going to take. Yes. And we want the people of Sierra Leone to understand because that was what got me angry this morning. When yes. I listened to that, that, that speech yesterday, those speech they made yesterday, they never mentioned about the people of Sierra Leone. None no. of them mentioned about the people. They were only mentioning about uh, the police people who died. And they never mentioned about the policemen who killed civilians. And they, they never mentioned about those who are still, you know, they just, they just, they, they were just one-sided. You saw all of them. They were just, except for the, 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 the president of uh, um, Sludge. He was actually better off because he he spoke to the president. He spoke to the to the, to uh, um, to the uh, um, uh, the opposition. He spoke to everybody. He spoke to the civil society. And but what I observed yesterday, I want to tell you this. I, I, I wish you would have seen it. What I observed yesterday in that hall, in that hall, ninety percent of those civil society personnel are from the southeast. Of course. What does that, what does that tell you? I want you to, to come in. What does that tell you? You know, bro, you see, I ask you if we have any civil society in Sierra Leone since 2018. Since 2018, we know how active these civil society were yes. when During President Koroma was in power. Uh -huh. <laughs> we know how active they were. We know how they were taking issues on board. And we know how they were treated by the then government that believe in democracy. The then government that believe in peace. But since 2018, you see all these civil societies, they have proven to Sierra Leoneans that they are the ones that have promoted tribalism in Sierra Leone. Because all the civil society, they are all men their people to be precise we can no longer try to hide these facts that one of the things that divided us today that made us to be where we are it's because of this government came with a strong tribalism we were not and like this, that during the, the ebk era we were not like that we were not divided yes, like this we were not like that and Yes, indeed, my brother. Of course, no, but what he said, I agree with you. I agree with you. You know, Zainab, I agree with you. Because I'm going to be inviting you guys. I want you to come in. We're just going to, 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 to set up, you know, we want to just set it up and give you a background of what we're going to discuss. Because, you know, this is a time wherein we need Sayeluna to vent out their anger. I'm telling you, this morning I was angry. I can tell you, when I vent out my anger, you know, I, I was angry this morning. Indeed, he was one of those people that caused this whole situation. But of course, he, sp he spoke well. Yesterday, he spoke well. He spoke to the president. He spoke to everyone. Yes, he was one of those people. Because if you started taking subvention, you started taking money from the government, then you are creating the problem for not to talk. You are keeping your mouth shut when you begin to take money from the government. So definitely, of course, he was one of the problems. All of them, and he, he maintained that. He said, we are all problems. We're, we're supposed to take responsibility. But my issue is, as I said to you guys, my issue is the people were not mentioned. And let me tell you this. Let me tell you. I tell you, I'm going to tell you uh, why, why the, this religion, how they thrive. They, they, I told you they thrive two, two things, two things. One, they thrive to fear. They make you become fearful. They make you become, you know, you, 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 are, you are afraid of your mother. You are afraid of your father. You are afraid of your brother. You are afraid of your auntie. You are afraid of your uncle. That is what the church or the mother, they'll do. Especially the church. I want to talk from where I was as a pastor. Fear. Fear. They will put fear in you. Oh, it is your mother. Oh, don't go, don't go, don't go to your village. Your village. You know, you know why they're doing this? 
they want they want you to they want them to become your only your only relative your only relative so they're trying to get rid of everybody they, they are eliminating everybody not by killing but by association by association they are eliminating all of these other people so the first thing this church or mosque they tie on is fear for you to fear your relatives for you to fear your even your mother or father they want you to fear them and the second thing they want to do is to what guilt oh well if i don't if i don't give to church oh god will punish you if i don't give to church oh this will happen to me fear fear and what guilt these are the two ways how this religion thrives brothers i think we have to change our mentality about religion we have to change our mentality there are people in america they don't even go to church they don't have, but they, they succeed who told you it is only through going to church that's when you're going to succeed? And that is what they have created over the years, that it's only through church, it is only through the mosque. That's the only way we are going to succeed. Who told you that? You know how, how many years I've, I've, not, I've, I've not been going to church? But I'm successful. I'm successful. Who told you it's only through church and through mosque? That's when you're going to succeed. That is the kind of fear they put inside of you. That is the kind of guilt they put inside of you. These are the two ways the, the, this religion thrives. These are the two ways this religion thrives. Okay, my sister is coming in again. I think something went wrong somewhere. Okay, welcome again. I don't know what happened. Just I, don't went know. Out. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. I think we were yes. talking about this. So too. So are, somebody okay. just mentioned about the, the uh, president of Sludge. He said yes. he's one of the fools. They are one of the, yeah. And indeed, it's but, true. Yeah, but China. that day yesterday, he spoke well yesterday. I can, uh, let me give him that. I'm going to give him that. But he was, he was one of the problems. Because they took gifts for them in the office. Palm yes. oil, uh, 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 oil, rice, and all of these things. Tomato and, and uh, onions. And that's your side, they were silent. You know, you know, bro, what, what is really beating my imagination, since Bio came to power, she's, they started these atrocities from the very moment Bio was announced the winner of Sierra Leone. And these paramount chiefs, these civil society, and all these stakeholders, this um, uh, um, interreligious uh, inter council, do they ever call the president to tell the president, to tell his people to go after the opposition? Mm -hmm. Do they ever try to engage the government about the way things are going in the country? The killing of Padamba Road, did the civil society the, Nothing. Uh, it's Nothing. a religious council, the paramount chiefs. We've never had the president come out to address relatives. And when, when, when I heard people in diaspora start saying the protesters, we are lawless, they are challenging government, I'm like, we are the prisoners. We are their lawless too. Exactly. We are there out protesting when the presidents are guard actually go to, to the Padamba Road to slaughter them. In kill a concealed them. environment. A concealed yes. environment. In a concealed environment. They are harmless. They are prisoners. They got nowhere to go. They were trying to climb up the fence to go out. As they are climbing, they are shooting at them like animals. We are they also lawless. Let's talk of the fishermen. Atomo. We are there also lawless. Let's talk about the, the, the guy whom they killed in cold blood. They, slu they slaughtered him at mile 91. Was he also lawless? Was he protesting for his bike? They killed him. And according to the dad's testimony, one of the brigade commanders at mile 91 did tell the father that he will kill his son because they are APC. They're not hiding it. 
We saw a woman in the UK here displaying a knife, singing in Mende. Mabu Malelelo, Sinao, APC. And then she was so, I mean, it is very horrific. What can you talk, say about this? You Sierra Leoneans who are going, telling Sierra Leoneans that they were lawless, it was no need, we come into elections, hello? Was there any time when they killed George Floyd in America? It was spontaneous when the whole world came out protesting for yeah. someone they do not know. Yeah. In they America, protested. it's over five point something million people Everyone came that out. came out from every state. For every state. Five point something and even million when they people. came out, when Donald Trump told the general, so he said, take care of them. What did the general say? He said, he said, no. No. no they this, are, is not, this is not yes, a fight. This, we don't yes. do that. And, and, and uh, if people are saying, oh, America is different from Sierra Leone. So are you telling me democracy has two definitions? Is that what they are trying to say? Does democracy have two definitions? If it's the, sad. The, if the democracy in America and Britain is different from the one in Sierra Leone, then let's don't call it democracy then. Let's don't call it democracy. But if Manda Bio today is saying that he's going to defend himself because he was democratically elected, no one disputes that fact. Yes, you were democratically elected. This is why the people that elected you want you to talk to them and you don't want to talk to them. Now they are forcing because, you to talk to them. And, and that is what is confusing to me. Yes. You are going, you are calling the civil society, you are calling the traditional yes. leaders, you are calling the religious leaders, but yes. yet you are yet to, 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 to talk to the people of Sanyo. Talk to the people. And, and, and every one of these civil societies, Joseph Sano, was he not one of the civil society guys who went to, so, on social media and said, Exactly. Ah, this and what they don't kill us all. Ah, that man don't kill us all. Me a glad you because that man and I want pan them. And that was his voice. Yes, he said and it. He was there on the meeting. Joseph Sano and, and Joseph Sano was one of the civil societies. Mandabio gave money to go out to tell the people to come out when they were they were doing sitting sit sit that strike. Was he not the one who was giving money at at, at, at Sani Abacha? Was yes, asking people to come and, out. And, yes. And, and, and you call yes. Echo was giving money. Giving them money to come uh, out. Joseph Sano and Daniel Mosire. Daniel, Mo Daniel Mosire was Daniel there. Sano was there as civil society. Yes. <laughs> as civil Activist. society. And Daniel yes. Mosire was there as for SLBC. Who? Yes. In Chalvin. And when you look at all these people, they are all Mende tribe. They are all Mende people. They are Mendez. They are all from the Southeast. All of them have SLPP tickets. There is no secret about it. And we are saying this. We want the international community to know that the civil society in Sierra Leone, they are all from one tribe. And they now, they know that. since Mandabio Manda came in power, they've been one-sided. They have never, ever try to, to consolidate peace. It is now, after they have killed innocent civilians, they have killed, all they're trying to say, they killed the policeman. The police killed themselves. The civilians, they had no gun. They had they no ammunition. People don't know this. It was they, they had no gun. Themselves. They had no ammunition. They so if the, you... They already planned this. They already in, planned it. Yes. They planned it so that this, this is what we're going plan. to do. So kill those policemen. And all you people see is those policemen they kill. And even the guy they kill at Kamakwe, we saw him the very day of the protest. He was threatening people, say, Una sabi me, eh? Una I don't want to know. Yes. Una go na house. Una sabi me, eh? Yes. Una come on, yeah. Una go sabi me. Yeah. Una come on, una sabi me, eh? So at the end, he was cut up. He died. They killed him. So now one time he said, in life, better pass, the other one and kill. You guys killed over 50 people in Kamakwe. Right now, as we are speaking, most of them, they are on the run. They are on the run. And you, who's supposed to talk to the people? 
and you are threatening the people to say, Una sabi me, eh? Yes. So una feel say, na police and get life. And that is the kind of country we have now. Yes. That and is the kind of country here in the United States. The police are, are threatening me, people. Your is, yeah, yeah, they said your Do you know how many you, times you know we have protested? Ter terrorists. How many times they're, they're we are protested in London? Kind of, kind of, you know, yes. You don't know what we're going through right now. You know? Some of us, you don't know. They know our country now. Eh? We your don't. They said your country is a terrorist country. Yes. And that's why. We are, if the United Nations, they are true United Nations, if they are not the ones that are causing problems in Africa, if they are not biased, in this case, we are calling the United Nations to drop President Bio from going to the United Nations summit. He's not fit. He's not fit to represent Sierra Leone because he has already called his people, they are terrorists. Terrorist. So why so is he going to represent senior terrorist. terrorist people? He, he is, is the, the president of all the terrorists. If his people you. are terrorists, which means beyond government, they are all no, terrorists. He is, he, is the, he is the president for the terrorists. Yes, he is the president for the terrorists. So they must not yeah. allow him. If that is what you guys so want, yes. we're going to give you what you want. Yes. Because that's what you want. Yes. And nobody, no tourist will go to Sayulun for the next four, five nobody. years. Nobody. No tourist. I'm not investor. Nobody's going to go you're not investor. We're going to make gonna your government ungovernable. Mandabi, we're going to make your government ungovernable. Yes. You, you, you are going to make your government ungovernable. You are the ones we who have stuck yourself in your community, food. And then they call the protesters as faceless people. But somebody has already claim own responsibility up. Own up. Has and, own up to to talk to him. and he is a Sierra Leonean and now the international community ECOWAS, AAU, we are calling you that you cannot brush this gentleman on the carpet or under the carpet because, no, because he is more responsible no, than the doing this because you think yes My he sister, is more responsible because he own up he Bio said his people are terrorists but then, the man who, uh, who is heading the PPP has already owned up. And all of us, we all, Sierra Leoneans, we are all PPP. We are it all. is not a political. I am PPP. But we are PPP. PPP. We are the people. I'm not going to deny that. We are the people in politics. We are Don't the people. Me. We I'm gave me. him the power. We elected him. So when you say PPP, it is not any political party. It's, 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 we're talking about the entire Saga Leon. BUSFP, BUNGT, BUC4C, BU Independent. We're talking about the people of Saga Leon. Whether you get out or not, whether you support or not, but the PPP call us, call is talking. Incite, incite, yes. incite uh, anyhow, you call it. Where the Let PPP and we are ready again. They are, they are, and in the international community, Try to ignore the PPP. No, if the international community is talking of engaging stakeholders, if they are, they, are, they are talking of engaging stakeholders to, to bring peace, we have said it, we don't need peace. We need equal rights and justice. That's what we need. We need equal rights and justice. We need justice in Sierra Leone. We need the government to recognize the people not just the policemen that died. They never go out there to protect anyone, but they went exactly. there with the intent to kill, and they caught up. They went there with the intent to kill, because if course. they were harmless, if they, they were, were not with armed and ammunition, yes, if the policemen went to quell down the protest without arms and ammunition, then we can say it is, you know, unfortunate. But in this case, they basically got, went there to kill civilians and they caught up in the act. They were killed by their own, by their fellow arms officers. So it has nothing to do with protesters. If you guys are trying to, 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 to try to prioritize the police were killed, police were killed. Do you know how many civilians, Lionel and Slima, went into their houses, sent them out? in their houses and kill them, slaughter them. All we I've can seen, say I've now... I've seen photos. Be, yes. And that's why all I we told can them, say, I said, you guys don't know All we can say in the international community... We're not going to post yes. them until that day comes. This government until is we go engaging to the that's why we're in extra... Post post yes. 
Yes. You wait. This they are not in photos engaging here. They, in they killing. We have seen the man lie, people. But you, they, they are going to see the photos. Yes. Not now. Not see, now. We're going to keep. We're going to save those photos until until ICC. These paramount chiefs and this civil society and this, you know, interreligious council, they are a disgrace in our country. They are the biggest disgrace and fools and the most useless organizations that we had in our country. They are very useless and worthless. And it's a shame to have interreligious council, both imams and pastors, but God the but Father, you God that. will destroy them all. We have been discussing this yes. issue time without number. They are useless I, people. Spent hours very useless. And imams it's and been four years. Where were you all? To, 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 to tell man that bio. Where were you all? <laughs> we all saw protests in the in the sub region. We saw, we, we saw protests in Liberia. We saw protests in Guinea. We saw protests everywhere. Or, Nobody or, or, used okay, arms and ammunition against their people. To twice about it. And they are telling us people don't. This people are not the supposed most to come out. People in that they should country. go on registration. They who are supposed to be in a they are supposed to lead us. They yes. are the most useless people in that country, yes. the imams and the pastors. They are the terrorists. The <laughs> imams are the terrorists. They are the rebels. The pastors are the rebels. They are. They have given them all brown envelopes. And now they have the other city to they sit in the hall to so say, we want to call the opposition. Some of these guys, I went know? to school with them. They were there. I went to school with some of them. They call themselves bishop now and all of these things. I went yes. to school with them. They cannot talk and they cannot stand there and talk. They were all like dummies. They are dummies. They so all we, are, all we are saying, the international community should know that if they want to consolidate peace, they should, also, they, should also, we, they, they should also, they should not talk to the opposition. The opposition has made it clear to they them that they out. are not part of the protest. I have told you they've sold So you already. cannot... You cannot, ago, call I I said, the opposition you cannot call out. FPC. You cannot call FPC. And if FPC, they accepted to go to talk peace, they've been hypocrites and sycophants ah. because they yeah, have the already. They don't have anyone to talk yes. for them right now. The yes. people don't have anyone. They don't have. Yes. They had, they, because they, they, they have they already disassociated themselves from the protests. Nobody so why should they go? Why should Nobody. they go into peace talk? And that is what pains me. Yeah. So the peace talk should be between the government and the PPP, the people of Sierra Leone, that not with nobody, any no, opposition. We don't want any the only yes, we don't want any mediator. Community. Yes, nobody else. The PPP. Nobody. That was why the, the yes. TRC failed. The yes. reason why the TRC failed is because you know you have people who have these factions now, like we have yes. now. You understand? If oh. that is what they want, it is the international community. It's their money. We are telling them now. These people are not credible. Yes. None of them is credible. None of you them know, is credible. You will just you know, be wasting bro, your money. You will bro, just be wasting their money. You know, bro, it is clear now that the same civil society who we are the moral guarantors and who we are the mediators to bring peace and stability in the Sierra Leone, they were the rebels. The same rebels, they turned to be civil society. And we see over the years how they, 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 they behave. So they, they have shown themselves clear to say they were the rebels. Ah, they were the rebels. Joseph Sano, there is it, no one can look it's at Joseph really, Sano and really say Joseph it's Sano sad. is not a rebel. There is no one can look at Lavali and say he's not a rebel. All of them, <laughs> they were rebels. Now they These want to make this. The They've all they come out the now. They to were make, the, they were the it's no longer gonna be business as usual. We are calling the international community. You know, I feel what pity for on the, the people of Sierra Leone. It has nothing to do with opposition, but if they want, they should make sure they engage the PPP with the people, the people's. Power in this, politics. This, this, are you going to yes. take those, those idiots as moral guarantors? Are these no. People, are these people moral guarantors? Yes. These ones we saw from last week. Yes. Going to express their love going for the express. president. Going to ask the president for yes. vehicles. 
for yes. SUVs like the Paramount chief had. That's yes. this is the kind of people you want. That yes. is why they have not been able to do anything because anything. they were just giving money to people to support yes. them. That is what yes. they're doing. And the yes. people are suffering. The, the, the and people it is clear. who count in the society are suffering yes. whilst they're giving these groups money. And, you know, and we you want know, the people to know. We want the people you know, to know. You know, bro, the stupidity of this government, yeah? They are very stupid. Very stupid people. Do they actually think it's only Southeasterners that put them in? Is that what they think? The same youth they are calling terrorists. These are the people that get attracted at Mandabio's manifesto. All the lies yeah. he puts into that manifesto make this youth get attracted because most of them, mind you, when Mandabio, you know, overthrown the two governments, Momo and 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 Trasa. and Trasa, yeah. some of That's these youth, team for another team. yes, some of these youths that voted for him, they were not born. Some of them, they actually do not know who is Mandabio. I blame the people that knew Mandabio. They were warned not to encourage Mandabio, but they brought him in. So they, nobody will say again, hey, don't say it again. We will say it because we said it because it's, before, before it happened. So we need to remind the people that ignore that fact, that sweep the TRC under the carpet, and bring this rebel again with all. You know Ali Kaba. Look at the relationship between Manda Bio and the man and, is moving and, around. Yes. Enjoying himself. Look Ali Kaba moving around. Yes. Enjoying and, himself. Yes. And Ali Kaba was not actually called by Segalionian, but the rebel leader in Liberia actually make it clear. Yeah, call that, him. Call yes. him. Just so tell us about him. There. And that he never knew he has for the sample. He has his yes. SFP power power on yes. that TRC. Yes. That TRC. Yes. And that was why this time around, nobody is yes. going to accept because that's nobody. the same thing they're coming with. We it's the going to, they want to do. We're going to exhume it back. We're going to exhume the TRC. We're going to make a, a follow-up of the TRC. We're going to make sure the TRC, the laws that are there, they implemented to every one of them because we knew all of them, all those that committed those atrocities, that killed, that mutilated children, operated to pregnant women and drink the blood of the unborn child. Those are the same people. And we see how they are exhibiting it today, that these people, they know nothing but how to drink blood. We see how they murder something. I brought their lights. They murdered him. And, 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 and then the police, the, 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 the IG, without the fear of God and respect for humanity, have the other city to lie. He must bow well, in shame the now. The president is lying. He the must bow is lying. in shame. From the president downwards, so everybody's lying. He must bow in shame. I believe from the moment you make that that press release, you send it out. You regretted of lying against somebody who can no longer stand to say you lie for me. But, but if, God. If, but if uh, uh, David Francis, if David Francis can take can take yes. a, a photo of a musician in in in, in, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, yes. Nigeria sent it yes. to England. Yes, that was that was the first step. Can you imagine? Sent it to England. A Nigerian, a Nigerian musician yes. that have died long that time ago. Over long Nigeria. time ago. In a, in, a, in a road accident. Yes. This is what I'm saying, bro. These ignorant idiot people, they think we are as fools as they are. It's sad. That's what they think. But they know nothing. These people know nothing. And and look at look at the shameful thing also. There was this guy who was a superintendent. The brother came out and said, my brother did not die. On, on the 10th of August. My brother yes. died naturally. Naturally. He went to do an operation. Yes. He had a complication and he died. Yes. And the other lady also, the other lady whose face was put, the mother yes. said, no, my daughter no. died out of, uh, you know, a, a complication. Complications. Why, Can you imagine? Why are you people doing why this? I, what? Yes. And then you have the useless civil society and the useless paramount and, and, and the, the useless... You know, it, it's a shame. 
It's a shame. It's a shame. And the other stupid lady, he it's said a shame. the president of the bar association is alone. Stupid it's lady. Said, well, let's make a fund for, for, for the police people who died and all of this. That assholes. These are assholes. They are I'm, this, not giving, I'm not even going to hide my feelings. These are assholes. I'm telling but you. This, this, most of these women, just, most of these women in the SLPP, they are all their wives. They, they, it's not because they, they have... They're they Yes. I'm telling yes. you. I know it's they, not they, they, because... I know they hide me. I know they hide me, dis, dis, me displeasure for them anymore. I know they hide me displeasure. It's I'm crazy. telling it's you. It's sad. Nobody, eh, the people of Salon again, nobody will defect for them now. No. Nobody. No. The only person who defect for the people of Salon now PPP right now. now the, yes. Nobody's fighting for the people and of Salon. And that's why? Nobody. And that's why if the APC accepts to go into peace talks, they've been hypocrites. They said they have disassociated themselves from PPP. And the PPP, we have, we have claimed ownership. We've owned up. We are the people that went out. And we are the people they should engage. I am not going to, to hide have a my talk displeasure for, for those, yeah? dog, those dog pastors yeah? and imam. They so, are bastards. They, don't, they are all bastards in that country. Triple bastards. You are sitting there and seeing the triple people bastards. being slaughtered like chickens. Four years, and you are there. Four years, four months. That is why I don't, four I don't years, have four time months. for church anymore. None of them came out and, to and, talk and to, the, we to the president I said, I don't when he's slaughtering people. Business. When the president is flying you, all over the world. Fake. Yes. I was there for 19 years. I know everything. It's a fucking fake. Some of us, some of us have come out. Because we know what was going on in the church. We have facts that I can... And that's why no, nobody, no pastor in America can come, come to me because they know I know the facts. And when they come to me, when I started talking about the facts, they, they, they would just go away. Because the first, the first area about the church was to, was to deceive the Africans. They know the Bible was written in Africa. They know most of these, these people that in the Bible were Africans. But they pretended they were white people. Yes. They pretended these people were white people. Until we come out. Until I was able to educate myself in Greek and Hebrew. Then I was able to know the facts about the Bible. That this Bible that we are reading right now is not the actual Bible. Oh. Hey, you talk about the, the Catholics, you talk about this. The these are black people. The complacency of us this. And told us they are white people. Yes. The complacency of no this fucking pastor is saying civil that, society. Ask them if and, some of them and, have studied Greek. Ask them if Greek? some of them studied Hebrew. Yes. The complacency of this civil society and interreligious council. You can imagine the 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 the, the elections at Tonko Limba, where they killed the fourteen year old boy. Yes, that boy, yeah. Yes. At Tonko Limba. Do they do this civil society? Caution, President Bio. No way. No, no way. Because they, they talk about this. Black, black, black They're black. talking about, about policemen that that basically cut up. You know, we are killed by their fellow servicemen who went there to kill civilians. Yes. Yes. Who went there so to kill civilians? Me. You tell yes. me. And, and now and you're coming out and talking you know, because it involves money now. They know yes, money is coming from yes. the international community. And so everybody is going to get a whole share of that money. The hypocrisy these bastard, of these people, yeah. Bastard pastors and bastard they, imams. They are, exabi they are exabitating, the th exabitating the thing as if... You're going to this, tell me about this, this these people man, I know for 19 years. They're basically signed. These people I know for 19 years. To die. Yes. They were trained. They signed to die. So it is not like... What happened to them? It, it's not something that they are aware of. They know they could die. I fucking know them for 19 yes. years. I, I know them. So, Some of them, I, I went the to with them. Some of them, we worked together. And these are the people. And that's what I said. Look, I studied theology for five years. Not for five years. Back with the theology of, uh, 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 philosophy of theology. So I know what I'm talking about. I did Greek. I had an A plus in Greek. I had a B plus in Hebrew. So nobody's gonna call, nobody, no, no stupid person will come and talk to me and say, I know, I, I, you know it more than I do. Because I know the original language. 
I studied the original language. So I know exactly. You study the Bible, this ordinary Bible that was written in English. No, I studied the one that was written in Hebrew and Greek. And I had the opportunity to go to a synagogue here in, the, in, in, in Florida. So I have studied far and wide. Studied far. I have spoken to a pastor. Let me give you a book, a pastor I spoke to recently. You know, Salonians, we need to stand I up. I spoke to this pastor. See, he wrote this book. Why, why I became an atheist. Why I became an atheist. He was a pastor of a mega church here. I spoke to him. After I was in the state, I spoke to him. And the things that that guy unfold gave me some areas that I should study. That was what took me to the synagogue. That was what exactly took me to the synagogue. Then I started studying. Started knowing the fact. He said, go. You will know that. He was a white guy. And he said, you will know that, that this Bible you're saying was written by mostly black people. Was even where even black people were, were on the on the center of that Bible, but they will not let you know about it. Yes, you know, you see, the deception has been, and that is why I say these pastors, and I told them two things, two things, these churches thrive on two fear, yeah. fear, they put fear on you. They put oh, fear in your you. Relative. It's don't your mother. Take your who's money. responsible? It's yeah. your father. Who is responsible? Don't take your it's money. Your uncle, your auntie. That's yeah. the fear. And the second thing they put on you is guilt. Yes. Guilt. They want you to be guilt. you feel guilty. When yes. you don't give to church, you feel guilty about you it. You feel guilty. Yes, when you yes. don't go to church, you feel guilty about you it. You feel guilty. That's what they do. And that is how yes. they thrive. That is how the church, that is how the mosque, that is how they thrive. And nobody's going to talk to me about church and mosque. Nobody's, because I know the truth. I know the truth. I have not spent more oh. time in the, in the mosque. It because is clear. When, when, I, when I left school from five thousand, when I, I, I became a, a, a Christian. But I know a little bit about the mosque. I know a little bit about his Islam. You know, and if you guys are going to put these guys as moral guarantor, they have failed the people of Sierra Leone. They have failed the people of Sierra Leone. They have failed. Woefully, they yes. have failed the people of Sierra They have failed them. All the civil but society, they, don't have, they, moral, are they don't, don't have any moral ground. Any they are all ground, moral ground to talk to yes. us. They are all SLPP. All the civil society are tell SLPP. Me, which, which moral grounds? Yes. Tell me the moral grounds these, these pastors or the imams have to talk to me. Have. Yes. Which moral grounds? Because I live a more better life than them. That say they are, they are going to church sure. and all these things. Yeah. I, I'm living a better life than I was living as a pastor. I yeah, because... I guarantee anybody that. Because I'm living here a we more are. better life right now than because I was as a pastor. It is true that we are far better than them because here we are we are not afraid to split out the truth to talk the truth to power but there they are collecting brown envelopes and pretending to be men of god and all these things happen under their watch they've never came out to stop it they've never came out to talk to the president they've never had that time to tell the president what, what he is doing for four After, years. They've oh, never. Please, the, I, yes. I always tell Are them, you please, let's me? forget about it. We've, yes. done, we've done it. We've seen it. We've done it. So, we've seen it. We've done it. Man, Abio, you, give me, you give me one pastor there. You have to you know, engage please. the PPP. Some of the church members, and they, know, also, they know about their pastor. And also, just, bro, what we need to talk it's, about it's today. It's hypocritical. They don't mean And also, but we should let the government know. How members know that their pastor have a girlfriend? Eh? We should also I mean, let I mean, the government know. Please, let's, that let's forget about it. We need all the people please. they killed. I cannot be they deceived. should hand them over to their relatives for a befitting funeral. They should not bury them like papa, like the way they buried they those they killed in prison. They are not going to do that. They should hand me. over all if those they do that, that will be the start of another, another thing. No, you, know, you know what they are doing? Because now they do not want to know the amount of people they have killed, they have slaughtered. It's more than a so, thousand. Yes. In fact, I do I'm not want to that, know. I'm, 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 I'm hearing, I don't confirm it, but I'm talking about Medkay. Medkay. Somebody yes. told me that he doesn't believe that Medkay Med is still alive. No. I don't know how true it is. I might be, I might be, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But somebody told me, concrete source said Medkay might not be alive. Well. This is, this is where we come again with the APC. Since the day this man, we knew, they knew the man that went to his house and arrested him. And the man did say 
he came out and boasted about it that he has arrested Medke and if he has the way he has tortured him, if he survived, then he is not Lyra Eslima that tortured him. But the APC did not respond. Not Sorry, until yesterday. This one, this one. I don't know? care if somebody call me, call me an inciter. This is not going to this time around. I don't say for the others because they've done it three times. This is the fourth yes, time. This is the fourth and time. all of these three times, they they they, 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 they got away with it. They got away with it. This time, this time they will not get away no. with no. it. No. But this time it this. is deliberate. It they is deliberate. Not, this fourth time, yeah. they will not get away with it. It this is one deliberate. cannot be swept under the carpet. It's not possible. No. It, it's not possible. If nobody is going to stand up, people like us will stand up for it. Yes. And we're going deliberate. to tear up. We're going to galvanize support for that. Yeah. Three times they've succeeded. They did it twice during the NPRC. Yeah. And when, when Tijakama came, they, do it, they, they did it again. And now they did it doing, again. This is the fourth time. Yeah. In 1996, the return of Kaba, they were going, arresting people and killing them. They were going around, pointing, pe pe pointing at people and yes, call them collaborators. Yes, call them collaborators of the NPRC. It, it will be their own turn. Yes. Call it inciting. It will yes. be your turn. It, it, this one cannot be swept under the carpet. No. It will not be swept under the carpet. Enough is enough. <laughs> this time enough around, enough. let them know the pinch and they will not do it again. That was what happened to the Hutus in, 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 in Rwanda. Uh, uh, Rwanda. In Rwanda. That was yeah. what happened. When, yes. when, 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 when the, the, the internal forces came, they also did their own. They yes. did their own. And that was why it will not happen again. No. It will never happen in Rwanda. But because these guys, they will get away with it for three they times are, now. They yes, got three away times they are getting away with it. it. Yes. That is why they are doing so, it. I if think they face the, the consequences one, of this, they must not get away with the fourth one. People, they will never do yes. this again. They will never do yes. this. Yes. They will never do this. How and that somebody will come and kill Northerners and yes. Westerners and they get away yes. with it. They and come get back, away with they it. do the same thing. They get yes. away with it. Oh, and somebody comes peace. in and say, oh, oh, let's forget about this. Oh, reconciliation and this. They forget about it. And they come back the third time. They did it. Oh, we come again. Oh, TRC came. Oh, let's forget about it. Let's throw a blind eye to it. They come again the fourth time. They are doing it again. Okay, bro. I think I need to go. Um, I need to go and do something. Yes, we have to. Yeah, I, I need to get some more, some people to come in and just uh, probably, yes. uh, 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 so, get, 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 you know, at least people need to vent their anger. Trust me, yeah, people need so, to vent their anger. Thank you. You know, thank all right, you for thank today. you so thank much, you for inviting sister. me. You know, stay yeah. blessed. Uh, thank you, yeah, bye. Okay, now I'm going to invite uh, some people. So, so if you have something to say about this, please, if you don't want to show your face, just just blank everything. Put it, put it over, just turn the camera and let me see something else or your TV or whatever, and you can be talking over it if you don't want people to say. I don't even, for me, I don't even want people to see. Some of us, some of us have given our lives. If my people are dying in Freetown, in Sierra Leone, what is, what is me? No, I'm going to show my face. Let them see my face. You can come for me at any time. I'm ready. As I tell people, look, me know they, I, know they, I know they say go come. You understand? Me says, hey, America, now what? Second Amendment, right? I get them, and I get me on go now. Yeah. Now, when somebody be they call me from Philadelphia, I say, "Oh, I will come for you at this and that." Bona bona phone I use. If you be get mine, why not take? Why not take your phone number where they use? You wait there. Because I don't check. Now, I don't know say a bona phone. You know, get name. Call me with your number. Then I know say you get mine. Like how me get mine? You come for me, Mister. Say no the joke. I'm well prepared. I have a gun and I can use it. I get gold as I for user. And not to use no more. I use them perfectly. So you 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 come. I'm not afraid of anything. You know, so if you don't say you want for uh, make a contribution, you know, I will invite you. If you want for coming, you can come in. If you don't want for show your face, just turn your camera and and you can talk. You know, I'll give you one everybody go get one minute for talk. If you don't get, we can just call them call them a day. But I think uh, I need for say this. To be very candid, we don't get we not get anybody in a salon where they talk for the Salonian people. I can tell you that. Nobody not in a salon where I tell you where they talk for Salonians. We are all 
they under the masses of 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 whether not supernatural being or we ancestors there wherever but we we'll not get nobody for talk for me not alone i can tell you i can tell you and at me for me for me right now which are they see there's no there's no light at the end of the tunnel no light what you don't see from last week from the traditional leaders there take and to the civil society there is no future for that country i can guarantee you that call me prophet of doom call me any name where you want for call me i go accept them but i not see future for that country as long as you get people there any time when they kind of power what thing that they can for can do now for now for go against northerners there and westerners there i don't see future for that country because it will be a cycle it will be a cycle and this time around northerners and westerners no go take this this time around and i make me tell you now let anybody tell me sir the insight i the owner i am going to own it i'm not even going to talk real i am call me insight i'm going to own it because all what you said from last week to this week is like na, na joke with the joke it's like it's like we're making fun we're making fun of ourselves you know na, na fun on a very serious note that we are just we're just being funny what you see from last week from last week what people that they can't they can't talk what you see na fun they they balance balance all man afraid all man afraid this guy when they talk when they say a president of of sludge uh, 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 Nasrala and this and that. These are all the people and that, and they always start the problem. Because when we begin for take, we begin for take benefit from government. It means that the government don't shut our mouth. We are not going for talk anything against that government. And now they can't share everybody for take responsibility. It's too late. People have died. People have been incarcerated. Extra judicial killing. What you, what you people? Una no no mention that here. Una no no mention that. When they go to net and pull people and kill them, una no no mention that. Because you are, most of you are southeasterners. Most of the civil society are southeasterners, and you are killing northerners and westerners. And this some of these people who now make then they, they, they for said that tell now one of my family they will vote for us people they call me now yeah they say let me let, let, let me send for our money but the word will tell them the word will tell them the word will tell them first me now me go send money for you i rather send money for their, their, their family they will, will lost loved one me now die when i go die in a salon day when i want to say when i die you now you know me family but let me die because now we are all responsible for what happened to, to people in Asalusu. They, they, you know, they, I don't want to no, no talk bad because you know what? I'm age group. They can't call me, hey, well, now, uh, there are things in the money we, uh, I want for that with angry, now for send small thing for me. Why well, don't cause and don't? He says, you're not going to ever call me again. Because what you would suffer so now, 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 cause them. Now, now, cause them. And now, now, back then, they kill so. They are killing you people. Yes. When I vote, now when I vote for them, now I made them kill you now. This you people cost this. Oh, Tolongbo na go sit down I don't know if I'm so they sing. Tolongbo na go sit down Angry Boku. Okay, now what in there now? What in there now? Tell me about what in there now. You tell me. What in there now? So long, but no go sit angry, but cool. But what did they now? They, they can't call me now. So, hey, my uh, dear, um, angry one kill me now. So, this and that. I make a tell and say, go to, go to Mother Bio and Fatima Bio, then get the money, go there, then go, go give you. Not to me, your money, what they work hard for. I'm not giving you my money. No. I'm not giving you my money. There's no way I'm going to give it. I don't go ever, ever think. Even if this thing done, all of those people will continue to to to, to my venom will continue for for rain pandemic. My venom they will continue for rain pandemic. These people had the opportunity. Madam Bio and the wife, they get the opportunity. Everybody be not fed up with SF, APC. Everybody fed up with now before just come and just navigate the people there, help the people there, be father of uh, a mother for all Sierra Leone, not Southeast. 
It will for those be father and mother for the entire country. And I make it better the one day we, we, we they encourage for the pandemic. Now, Scala tell you, Papa, you know, they, you, know, you know they get so much venom and anger towards you picking. Eh? You angry to a pa, 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 pa specific set of you picking them. Then you encourage the other, even though they do bad, you encourage them. But when this one, when they do small things, you don't, you don't, you, 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 you don't wait to call, let's say, let's say, now nah, 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 you demon, now nah, 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 they don't wait to call. They don't go to you, demon. Me venom, anyone, one, where I know, of course I know they all. No go, I mean, venom, no go ever tire, Pande, because of the people that we don't die in a saloon. For some of you, I will believe, say, the pastor, then, the imam, then, now they are the savior of saloon. Think again. Think again. You don't have any pastor or imam in Sahel, yeah? Because they're not talking on your behalf. When they go, now on themselves, they go talk about, oh, well, we, we want to be a part of the reconciliation. You know why? Because there's money in it. There's money. There's money in there. Money. Reconciliation, there's money in there. What, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know, we, you know, you know, you know, we want to be a part of this thing and call yes, there is money now. We know when TLC happened, you know most money they waste, you know most you know most billion years we, we die on the TLC. Where they all go there, they go take their own their own personal, their own person there, they protect, protect all, you know. Ali Kaba they all they protect them. Wait for the way uh still or come call Ali Kaba. But then they still Ali Kaba they protect her because now they are now they are UF brother. And the other people that will commit small crime, they look there. They teach them in the language. Then they can't tell me, they can't tell me, say, now them pastor, they're there, imam, they're there. Okay, well done, well done, well done. They're there for una, yeah? They are all there for the money. Because when you see the international community endorse this, this stuff, money they be given for camp. And they're going to be giving money. And that is what they want. They, they don't have any interest for the Sahel Unions. They have no interest for the Sahel Unions. They are just there for the money. All of them. Those civil society, you see, all of them. You, they go take John, uh, Joseph Sanor. When I had the who sell the propaganda machine for the SLPP, like Joseph Gobert. You don't go put on a civil society activist. For who that? For the government or for the people? Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done, yeah. Una well done, civil society. Una well done, the interreligious council. Una well done. Some of them, you guys know. I went to school with you guys. Some of you who have worked together on the field. We have been there on the field. All of you, I know some of you guys. You know, some of you guys, we have worked on 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 deals. We have worked on an eighty thousand dollar during the Ebola. Yes, I just want to tell you that I know you guys. Yes, I wrote my project. I wrote the projects, and almost nineteen thousand dollars came, and we were able to 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 to, to expense that money on on food and other things for people around. So I have the brain. Some of you guys know. I know how to look for money. And that is why, that is why nobody's going to talk to me about church because I know, I know about church. Like the back of my hand or like the palm of my hand. I know about church. I told you one of these days, I have preached on mega, mega churches in, in America. Mega Baptist churches in America. Of course, you guys know, some of you guys know Baptist churches. I have preached on mega, most of them, Texas. You go, you go to South Dakota. You go to Idaho, Los Angeles. You come to Cal you, you you go to uh, um, 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 Oklahoma. These are mega churches. So, religion, Christianity is not something hidden for me. It's not. It's not. It's not. I know. I know a lot. 
when I came here, you know, when I started, when I came here, when I was attending one of the churches, I was one of the, 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 the Bible study teacher in one of the churches. Everywhere where, where I, I, when I studied, I, I got to know the facts. The facts. I'm not talking about this Bible. This is just a, this is just a, 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 a I, I will not call it a translation, in fact. It is not a translation. This is just a, a way of scamming the people of, of, of the world. That, that Bible you call Bible? Please, don't, call, don't even call it that. Because it is not. It is not. If you want to argue with me, then we can, we, we, we can have a conversation. If you want to come to, with me on the air, we can come. I can disgrace you and bring all things to life. Come as a pastor. Let's argue. Let's, let's bring out. So, there are certain things I will not even say. I will not even say. But if you want, we can come on the air. Right on my hair. Right? You can come and we can, I, I, we can, I can get you out. I can get some things out. That would probably that would probably amaze that would probably make people think, oh, was this was this true? Don't tell me about religion, please. Don't, especially Christianity. Because I spent my 19 years. 19 years as a pastor. Two years as evangelist. 17 years. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's 19 years. So you don't you don't talk to me about Christianity. As a church member, please don't even don't even don't even dare. As a church member, don't even dare. I will talk to people who are pastors. But like you, as a church member, please don't even dare, because because you you don't have the you don't have the standing with me. You don't you don't have that 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 even little space with me. I will not even go, I will not even argue with you because you don't have that standing. I, I, I need somebody who's gone through four years theology. I did five years. Ask people, I did five years the, theology. I did philosophy of theology. So if you're a church member, please don't even attempt. Don't even. Probably you can call your pastor. Then we can talk. You call this Bible a Bible? You call this a manuscript? From the original manuscript? Who? You must be. You must you must be out of your mind if you call that one a Bible. Because it is not. You know, I, I, I tell people this. Who told you? Who told you? Who told you God said one a, a, a man should have one wife? Who told you that? Let's start from there first. Let me tell you that I know exactly what is going on. Who told you that? A man should have only one wife. Where is it written in the Bible? Oh, you think what? What? Please don't even bring it. The or original manuscript, manuscript don't have it. It is not there. It is traditional. Because they are getting married to one wife, so that's. But it's not in the original manuscript. I can. I can argue you on that. I can argue you on that. Don't tell me. Please, don't, don't even go and quote the Bible for me. Please, don't even do that. Because that, that, will, that will be suicidal. It will be suicidal because it is not in the original manuscript. If you go back to the Torah, you go back to the Old Testament, you see where God even talks about marrying several wives. You talk... You talk about you talk about about religion. You talk about Christianity. You talk about marrying one wife. Go to hell because it's not in the original manuscript. I can guarantee you that. You know, it bothers me because religion in Sierra Leone has become like something that that that, that has that has changed the history of Sierra Leoneans. It has changed the perception of Sierra Leoneans. We have been deceived. Deceived by people just because they want our money. They want our money, so they deceive us. And that is why those pastors coming from Sailor, I only have respect for one. I'm not going to call his name here. 
I only have respect for one. All of the others, they are just dependent on the people. They are just dependent on the people. They're coming from Sierra Leone and they are Sierra pastors. They're all dependent on the people. Going to people's houses, saying they're praying for them. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Fuck you, man. I don't fucking care. I'm going there to just beg the people. Hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. Please don't talk to me about. Don't don't even don't even dare to talk to, to open the Bible and start quoting for me, please. That Bible is is is, is nothing but but about about a literature. It's a literature. You know, you go to the Torah, the original Torah, and look at some of the words. Come to the Hebrew manuscripts, the Aramaic, and look and. Don't talk to me about just reading English, English. No, go to the original manuscript and see the interpretations and see the concepts. And then we'll start the conversation. You know, I'm going to leave you guys here. You know, I'm going to leave you guys here. But all of these pastors are fake. They are fake. I can guarantee you they are fake. Some of us, are, some of us have been there. I can tell you we've been there before. 19 years is not 19 days. We've been there before. We know the gimmicks. We know all the strategy. We know all the plans. We know, we know all of these things. They're all gimmicks. I can tell you, we've been there before. I've played with it. I've wrestled with it. So if I, want, if I want to go to God, I don't need to go to a church. If I want to talk to God, I don't need to go to a, to a mosque. If I want to talk to Allah, I don't need to go to a mosque. Or do I have to go to a church to talk to God? No. That's just, that's just the way they have regulated us. The fear and what? Guilt. Two things. That is how the church and the most they thrive. Fear. They make us fearful. Oh, Allah is this. And, and, and that's why when people are talking that, that one girl language, I go to talk. Who did I tell you that? He said, I only Arabic and I go there. You ain't going for talk Arabic. Allah, I ain't Arabic no more. Fear. Fear, my brothers and sisters. Fear. God will create all the languages in the world. One great language that they talk. Then create the entire, all the languages in the world. But you say, no, 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 say, na, 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 you brain, I need to play with so. You brain, I need to play with. Say, na, God, na, one great language they talk, Arabic. He will create the entire, the, the, the language they own at the world. You say, na, one great language they talk. Una, no, 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 say, na, fear this. Fear, na, they bring camp at you for making fear, know that you go go learn Arabic. I don't pass that stage to me. No, I don't reach that point where nobody knows they deceive me again. I will not be deceived by anyone. Mm. Because I know they go to church, I see successful. Mm, I don't go to church, but I'm still successful. So would I tell you, say, now we go to church, now you go be successful? Would I tell you, say, now we go to mosque, now you go be successful? Who said that? Ladies and gentlemen, I have to leave you guys. Remain blessed. Take care of your God. Your God is you. <laughs> We're going to deal with that issue when I come there. When I tell you your God is you. I, it's philosophical. And if you want for, hey, right now, if you want for succeed in a saloon, you for be philosophical. Not believe everything. You forget a reasoning mind. You forget for reason. If you for reason, philosophical mind, if you always ask questions, the person will get a, philo a philosophical mind, that person will ask questions all of the time. You will ask questions all of the time. And when you ask questions, then you begin for reason with that question answer there. Begin for reason with the several answers there. That is why Sahelonians are not successful. Because we all tell them we believe by faith. And not to they say, they say my people perish for what? Lack of faith. Now that, did the, now that did the Bible say? The Bible don't say my people perish for lack of faith. Though. It say my people perish for what? Lack of wisdom. Knowledge. Reasoning. Philosophy. How you they deal with your mind? Oh, I mean, I get faith. I get faith. Who that tell you say you they perish because of lack of faith? No, it is not because of lack of faith. It's because of lack of knowledge. In fact, the right word, the right word, the actual word, not knowledge. 
na knowledge. The Hebrew word na knowledge. My people perish because for lack of knowledge. You know, so when you become philosophical, you ask questions. When you ask these questions, you you you, you reason in power able for make you deal with the answers the way they come and you get the appropriate answer. And that is why, trust me, when I can America, I find that very difficult. You know why? Because here now reasoning. Some questions and they want me the answer. I know they use reason. You understand? I was a master's holder in Sierra Leone. Tell me whatever you want to tell me. Tell me whatever. The reason why most people they suffer in a salon, that the reasoning. We get very low reasoning power. Very low. Sayonians, they get very low reasoning power. When I kaya, my reasoning power I change. Because when I begin to deal with certain issues, certain subjects, it, it, it empower, it empower me reasoning power. It empower me reasoning. And able for know how for reason. My thinking capability change. I had a change. And that we as Salinians we need. Not to just believe I concur, I support. Any two way they talk, you don't believe her. Any two way they say, you don't believe her. And I make mean, I can tell people, no, no, just believe what you say. Go and do your research. You know what he, Paul, they say, when you go to the Berean Christians, and Paul, when you go to the Berean Christians, they wait to say, they say, after we don't teach, we don't teach, don't. The people, they do not just believe hook, line, and sink out. They say, they went to, in, at night, they sit down, and they begin to search the scripture for see what did Paul say, whether not true or not lie. That's not reasoning. That's not the ability, the ability for reason. And Paul, nothing happened to the parents. And so, don't take that for granted. You have the power to reason. So you take care of yourself. Not allow pastor for take care of you. Begin put fear inside you. Say, oh, now you papa, now they cause you, 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 you don't follow her. You mama, now you mama born you, put you in a belly for nine months. You know, 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 with you. Now when you don't born, you don't, you don't full grow. You don't reach for make you do for her. Now they tell me to go with you. You know, if not, they use your reasoning power. You, you said that, you see that, 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 that they reasoning power, that they use power. So. You papa not 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 you bad who is born. Where if you forget right for kill you, nobody no know. Who's 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 kind uh, equipment they will get in a salon for do whether not somebody kill you. I will just hold you know saying you die. What who that go know? You mama go hold you know you die. Who that go know? It made you say you don't grow up. Then the pastor can't tell you say now nah, now nah, you mama not nah, responsible for your misfortune. You say if you know for don't get sense. You say no for don't get idea. They are trying to make sure they are the only person you can rely on. That is what they're doing. And we begin to believe them hook, line, and sinker. I was a pastor. I'm talking as a pastor. And I'm talking so somebody will not go through the process. I know everything. Every two they do so, I don't do one. I don't do one. So I know, I know it. I know the in total of everything. So nobody deceives you. Believe in what you believe. Believe in what you believe. Your God is yourself. Thank you very much for listening to me. Uh, we will come back tomorrow and uh, we will talk about other issues there. Now, I, I hope I'm able to put them online today, tonight, as to which we will discuss tomorrow. And we go, we, we all go. I need Funa for participate. I want to we. Let we all participate. You know, this is a participatory. Tomorrow, forget chance, we all participate together and we, we discuss together and we, we're able to make, you know, we make a day. Sometimes you need for just vent your anger for making you get peace of mind. You need for just say things there out. Move, just pull them come on your chest. Because sometimes we keep it inside there, it, 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 it make you sick. But when you vent them out, you throw them out, you get that relief. You get that relief and you feel fine. And that's sometimes unnecessary for we for make we do. Because it help you, you, you be. You know, thank you so much, guys. I uh, really appreciate you now. And, and uh, I will see you now tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye.